Okay, so we're going to use a digital multimeter, take the measurements down, and show you what is going to show up on the oscilloscope. First thing is we assemble a simple circuit containing just one resistor, and we're generating a 1 kilohertz wave. So first thing we're going to do is we take the DC measurement on the uh, resistor. We got 1.947 and the next thing we're going to do is take the AC measurement across the resistor we get 1.29 volts Okay, so the DC measurement that we got was 1.947 volts. That is also our offset. That's what we're going to see on the oscilloscope, which will look like this. From the axis to the center of the wave, we're going to see one point. 947 volts. This is our offset. And the, the, the other measurement, the VAC measurement that we got on our uh, oscilloscope, since we know it's a sine wave, we're going to actually multiply it by root 2. So it was 1.29 volts multiplied by root 2, and that gives me 1.9 eight two volts so this is our v peak so from the center to the peak of the wave is one point eight two volts um, the important part that we have to know is when you're measuring with the uh, a digital multimeter you can't really see what kind of wa wave you have if you have a sine wave a square wave or a sawtooth wave and you also will have to use a different formula depending on what kind of wave you're using. So we know we're using a sine wave, so we we'll multiply by root 2. But if you have a sawtooth wave, for example, you're going to have to multiply it by root 3. And if it's a square wave, the measurement that you actually get is your actually V-peak measurement. So it's just going to be VRMS. So we are going to hook up the oscilloscope and look at the results. So red goes to red and black goes to black and this is what we get and I'm going to trigger it so we can see it easier okay so the DC measurement that we got was 1.94 volts and that was represented as the offset so the offset will be from the x-axis to the center of the wave. Now one little square vertically is represented by two volts. So the measurement from the bottom to the center is roughly two volts and what we had was 1.94 so it's pretty close. Uh, the next thing we found was was peak voltage which is from the center of the wave to the top or to the bottom which is also represented by amplitude. So the measurement that we got was 1.82 volts and on here we can see it's roughly really close to that it's two volts and that pretty much summarizes on how to convert the digital multimeter values to what you can see on the oscilloscope